Hello everyone, I'm Chesterk44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avedon 3. Last episode we did some more exploration around here to see what we could see and do. And we happened to learn about two things that we had to do around here. One, up here is where we need to continue our quest to get I Liera, or Laria, whichever it is, why did they have two people with the exact- with almost the exact same name in the last game? I understand that that can happen in real life, but it's really confusing here. Sorry. And we also found out that there is a demon in the middle here that we need to deal with. How about we go deal with that demon since we're right here? On our own. With nobody else with us. This is going to be very fun, I imagine. First things first, explore everything around the outside. I mean, that's a dead end, so that doesn't matter. Let's see. Interesting that they chose to board this area up. That makes getting in here a bit of a longer walk. Ooh, fish. Alright. And this way... Lockpick, coins... Fortunately, I got another longbow. Alright. This guard is in charge of guarding the Infernal on the island. He isn't enjoying it. He says, Watch out! The creature is wily and annoying. Same thing here, even though Davis and Spencer have names. It's not promising for what's about to happen. There is an infernal standing in the center of this enormous cavern, watched by a pair of nervous hands. The creature is not chained or held in any way. It is just standing here, smiling smugly. As you approach, it roars, Another mortal pest to bother the mighty Pinkna. Another amusement. Oh, the Great One is bored. Yes, I am still here. Don't want me? Then you should not have brought me. So, what are you doing here? You brought me here. Pests of Avedon found me in Kelimdariel. Use spells and chains to bring me here. You have lived to regret binding the Great One. Why were you captured in the first place? Some mage in Kelimdariel captured me. Was ordered by some fled lord. Griffin or something. Your hands came after I was bound. The traitor was killed. How did we catch you? You didn't. The traitor mage you killed bound me. Your lot brought me here for questioning. You learn nothing, but you still have me. Ha ha ha! What happened when we questioned you? Nothing! Your little spells cannot break my immortal mind. I will tell you nothing, ever. I will stay here, though. The Great One is amused by your struggles. Well, you could just tell us what we want to know. I could, but I won't. I will do what makes you unhappy. I will torment you. You thought you could master the Great One! Pinkna sneers at you. More words to bore the Great One. Speak, weakling. You refuse to leave. I do! I have had no tribute, no worship. You have not begged for my mercy. I think I am owed. One day I will come to Lavon and her servants. I will eat their dreams. They will pay. They insulted a great one. I've been asked to drive you out of here. You are not the first. I will say what I told the others. I want a thousand coins. I want respect. Then I will go. All right, fine. I'll pay you. We have the. I have the money. I can spare it. You give Pinkna the money. It sniffs at the coins. Then it waves his claws and the money disappears. Now I only need respect. Just a little. Say, Avedon is dumb and bad at everything. Then I will go. I swear. Avedon is dumb and bad at everything. Ha 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 ha! Good! Yes, that is almost enough. I will go. Then one day, Lavon will be weak, old, defenseless. Delicious. She will come. I will come to her in the night. She will pay. And you! The Great One spares you, but only if I never see you again. Now I go! Ha 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 ha! With a final mocking laugh, the Infernal disappears. 
Hey, it's just words. It's not like I'm making a vow or a promise or anything. It's just words that don't necessarily mean whatever the hell I said. Now that the Infernal is gone, this guard is packing up his things. Thanks. I'm going up to Avedon to do something productive. Sure thing. And I am going to go report in on what we did. I know, I know. Some would say, oh, we humiliated Avedon with what we said. But like I said, they're just freaking words. It's not like I meant them or anything. Words are cheap. Actions speak louder. All right, I'm Amora. Pink now will bother, will trouble you no more. You tell I'm Amora what you did. Excellent. A shipment of Wild Realm rebels just showed up. We'll start moving them into the cave immediately. You fill out more forms. You get a pouch of coins and oddly a horseshoe. Well, it looks like junk, but it has an enchantment. I think it's a suitable reward for the, for the task. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, not unless you're looking for work as a bricklayer. I think all the killing type work is done for now. Alright, thank you. Let's see here. Lucky Horseshoe. 5% less time for abilities to recharge, 3% to hostile effect resistance. Handy. Alright. That's all taken care of. Let's move on. Now our next task is to go in here. I was told there were some... When I walked up to here, that said that there were ogres around here, so we're gonna need to do some killing. So, let's start doing making with the killing. And the exploring, of course. Hmm. Interesting that they actually let the prisoners fish there. Ah, there's the ogres. That one's an ogre seer. There's quite a few ogres around here. Looks like I can avoid them if I really wanted to. Do I really want to? Hmm. Alright, let's take a look in here. Oh! Spiders! Hello! Ah, yes, they're snaring. So, how many spiders are there in here? Ooh, cleave. Oh, wait, more are coming. do do a decent bit of damage. That is a Death Widow. That is less pleasant. Significantly less pleasant. I definitely think I'm going to need Potion Speed. That Death Widow needs to die now. That works! And I got enough cleave that I can kill that Cave Widow. A regeneration, just what I needed. And another cleave. I'm liking these cleaves I'm getting. I need to get more of them. <laughs> Truly, Gabriel has great cleavage. Yes, I made that joke before. I don't freaking care. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Ooh, there's actually some bodies in here. That's... That's not pleasant. You find the body of a dead prison worker. The spiders caught him and wrapped him in his web. Something metallic pokes out of the wrapping. You remove it. It's a key. You take it. A key, eh? I wonder what this key is for. Group heal, definitely take. Huh. I wonder... I bet that key works over here. Easy there. If I could get to that sage immediately, I'm sure I'd be able to stand up fairly nicely against anything there. Perfect, I was right, the key worked here. Coins, coins, and nothing else but some vendor trash. Alright then. Now I saw a seer, and the rest I think are just regular ogres. So if I can get to the seer quickly... Yeah, those are all just regular ogres. Oop, back up. I want to get to the seer. He's got like a reddish tint to him. Oh, great. Uh, I know there was a seer. There he is. Alright, get in there. Kill the seer. That's 
that's unpleasant. Battle charge will get me to him. That flinger is going to be unfortunate and annoying. There goes the seer. Perfect. Now we need to kill the rest of these guys. Which is going to be a bit tricky now that I look at this. Okay, I'm completely surrounded. Um, use another elixir of speed. Second wind to heal up. Alright. And blade sweep. And you know what? Weaken all of them. War cry! I don't really care about the flinger. I just need to kill all these other ogres that are surrounding me. Actually, if I kill that one, kill the opposite one so that ogre is going to have to run all the way around. There we go. That ogre might not actually reach me in time, which will be nice. Yep, he didn't reach me in time. Woo ha ha. How many turns to get that? Five. Damn. Yeah, maybe I'll get a lucky cleave. I'll see if I can. Excellent. More regeneration. Ah, the speed wore off. That's unpleasant. There we go, there's the cleave I wanted. Alright, this won't take too long. I mean, it'll take some time, which is irritating, but I'll get through. I just realized, the area up here we're going to, right near it, is, uh... What's his name? That guy who was imprisoned by, uh, Redbeard. Trapped in an eternal limbo to prove what happens to those who cross him. I wonder if he's still there, or if Protus actually let him die. Hmm. That'll be interesting to see. Come on. You know what? I could run up, but battle charge to him. Muhaha. And I noticed disarming blow does a lot more damage, so. And there we go. Everything is good. And we got rejuvenation potion. I see rune stone. And what have we got in here? A gold ring and a rejuvenation elixir. Alright, that went well enough. Time to move on. Let's see. He's still there. Why is he still there, I wonder? Hmm. Placement office. Oh, there's creature people or creatures in there. I'll take a look up in here. Hmm. All right, in we go. The eternal prisoner still here. There is a prisoner being held in this room. He's a young man dressed in torn clothes of an archaic fashion. He is held motionless in the middle of a magic circle, bound and supported by a translucent field of energy. He stares miserably off into space, and yet there, he seems to sense that you are there. Inside the field, he moves and talks very slowly. He says, in his odd, painfully drawn-out way, I... I am... I am here to teach... was alone... Forgotten. Help me. 
Who put you here? Redbeard. It is my fate for for what year is it? Sixty-three eighteen. Everyone I ever loved is dead. More years pass so slow. Left alone. When did you come here? It was sixty to sixty-three. A long time. If he is telling the truth, a very long time indeed. About fifty years or so. A little more than that. I mean, that's a long time. But I don't know. If you were young, there might still be someone alive. The frozen prisoner stands upright, trapped in the field of energy. He moves very slowly, and his words come out as a long, ghastly moan. His clothes have a very peculiar style. You start to suspect that they went out of fashion years before you were born. What are you doing here? He looks up at you, desperate for conversation. Nobody has been back here for a while. I am here to be an example. I suffer alone, forgotten. Do not end up like me. Who are you? I remembered, uh, years ago, remembered, I am, was, I was hard Lexrem. Who put you here? Redbeard. He gave my judgment. Why were you chained here? Tried to kill the keeper. Redbeard failed. He gave me special punishment to scare others. I guess it worked. Why did you try to kill Redbeard? Tyrant started out humble. Grew ambition, power, killings, too harsh, warned him, was a heart, saw disaster, tried to help, failed. How did you try to assassinate him? Poison, lots of it, drank it all down, didn't touch him. He was strong, protected, was stronger than I knew. So he put you here? Yes, left alone, forgotten, and killed me. Alone the defenses weaken, spells not restored. You can kill me now, please. You couldn't be killed before now? Redbeard put shields. He wanted me to live year after year. Now alone, so alone. Defenses weaker. Defenses. His head lolls limply back and forth. His body slumps, held up by the shell of energy. I... I am not defended. Just strike. Something about the response seems off, but you aren't sure what. Maybe he's just been driven mad by his imprisonment, but you think he's lying. There are still defenses here. I'd rather just free you. No. My body is a shell. Free me and I just die. Break the prison. What happens, happens. You really want me to kill you? Strike. Strike me at me. Break the shield. The chain. I will be free and can find peace. 
It seems clear enough, though you can't be sure what other nasty spells Redbeard left. Pull the prisoner out of the field? The moment you touch the field, you are thrown back. It takes several minutes for the numbness in your arms to disappear, only to re be replaced by a painful ache. Don't do that. Hurts me, too. Fine. You can rest at last. You strike the shield around the prisoner. The prisoner was right. The spell is disrupted. The wards shudder, twisting the prisoner's body. He screams. And then you hear moaning coming from all around you. Turns out he is not the only prisoner here who received a special punishment. Other spirits are held here. They emerge, manned by their imprisonment in the stone. Three shades and an imp. Well, I can get to this shade, so... Eh, I had a feeling that might happen. Right. Oh, what did that say? Uh, it said something about another shade appearing. And other imps. This is going to be a lot worse than I thought. Okay, um... Definitely use that potion of speed. That cleave helps. I'm definitely gonna need to heal up. Now! Okay. As long as that doesn't happen again, I think I'll be fine. More defenders appear in the prison's hall. That one's a, that one's a frenzied imp. Okay, this is going to be quite irritating. Alright, let's just keep on the killing. It's still going to be several turns before I get this spin again. That shade is red. Why is that shade red? I am displeased by the fact that shade is red, and very concerned too. And my battle frenzy is almost gone. And I am almost out of energy. And a vulnerability curse. Vulnerability curse is gone, but so is my healing. Okay. How much health do I have? Okay. Not as much health gained as I had hoped for. Alright, use the elixir of health then. I think I should be able to survive this. Okay, how much long? Oh good, I can blade sweep again. I should be able to heal soon. A bit of knockback, but I didn't do much. Okay, heal yourself. Definitely needed. Right. I'm definitely going to succeed here. Come on. Alright, that's the last of the shades. Now I just need to get rid of these three imps. Ah, come on! How'd you miss? Really? Twice? And ensnared. 
I'll take that. <laughs> there we go. One imp left. Oh, thank you for jumping to me. Now you're going to die. Sparks fly out of the magic circles in the prisoner's chamber. Then they grow dim. The defenses have been drained of power. At last, time is short. Please end my pain. The frozen prisoner stands upright, trapped in the field. Okay. The shield around him is almost gone. The prisoner is incoherent, lost in pain. Now, end, end it. It is time. Die. You deliver one final strong blow. It shatters the shield and strikes the prisoner in the chest. The shield was all that kept him alive. Hitting him wasn't necessary. Once their spell was broken, his eyes closed. His face relaxed. The body slumps slowly to the ground. At last, his imprisonment is done. As you start to turn away, you notice something on the floor. There was a small carved totem at the Shade's feet inside the barrier. You take it. Spectre's Totem. Plus 5% to critical hit chance, plus 4% to missile damage. Handy. Uh, and I'm getting so much stuff here. Well. Managed to do something there. A book. What's this book? This book is about the end of the Black Age. I suppose we can read it before I end the episode. In the years before cycle 6237, the members of the Pact realized the extent of their mistake. The Black Age, over three decades of civil war, had erased all gains of the First Age. The Far Lands ran wild. Hanvar's council still met regularly, but it had no power or influence. And then, as before, a lone hero rose to save them. A woman named Talera, one of the representatives of Dyrum in Hanvar's council, left the council and became a neutral diplomat. A neutral, bloodthirsty diplomat who worked to negotiate a peace and used her massive private fortune to hire a host of assassins. Those who opposed her work in the name of peace tended to die mysteriously. Talera's work was actually fairly easy in some ways. All members of the Pact wanted a face-saving way to end their conflict. They were eager to stop fighting, but how would peace, once attained, be maintained? Talera's stroke of genius was the creation of Avedon. A fortress and enforcer, independent and impartial, staffed with her own as assassins, who would stand apart and crush all who acted against the stability of the Pact. The Treaty of the po Five Powers was signed in cycle 6237. It ended the war and compelled the five states of the Pact to provide money and resources to form Avedon. Now an independent force would watch them and rein them in, for their own good. And I am going to end this episode here. That one... Well, that guy had his death long coming. Glad to give it to him. His freedom from his eternal torture. All right, next episode, we'll go to I Liera, or Lyra, whichever it is. Don't know what's in this last bit here, but we'll find out. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is Gabriel. This has been an Avedon 3 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.